Every season, luxury fashion designers compete to bring out the most outrageous and eye-catching clothes that are made to get people talking. These clothes are usually very expensive, though they are often privately sold, so it's hard to know their true value. But even when they do cost thousands of dollars, people actually still buy them. So what does that say about society, huh? Nah, who cares? Let's just take a look at some ridiculous and expensive designer clothes and you can make up your own mind. Amazing. Dressed in the dark. These days, Gucci can hardly put a foot wrong and people are more than prepared to pay absurd amounts even when they do. I mean, check out this look from the fall winter show of 2019 which is the best example of I got dressed in the dark you could ask for. The model's spiky blue mask, oversized floral shirt, tot and pajama shorts, and shin guards are all held together by the patchwork tail of a mythical creature draped over the shoulder. I don't know what they were going for, but Gucci doesn't come cheap. With prices ranging from $500 to $2,000 per item, this outfit would likely cost more than $10,000. Who knew looking ridiculous could cost so much? Donut dress. Sometimes fashion can be a little difficult to digest, but the queen of color Agatha Ruiz de la Prada added a few layers of sweetener to her spring-summer 2017 collection with this insane multi-tiered donut dress. The Spanish designer is known for her wacky catwalk shows, but this food-related fiasco really takes the biscuit. Ruiz de la Prada, not that type of Prada, has high street ranges that are reasonably affordable at around $50 to $100 per item. Her catwalk dresses, however, have no prices and are often privately sold, which probably means they cost a heck of a lot more. Fried Egg Dress if breakfast is more your thing, Ruiz de la Prada has also catered to your taste. This absurd fried egg dress looks like a complete yoke, but it was actually part of her fall winter 2019 collection on the Madrid catwalk. If you were wondering about the model's opinion on the clothes, she's been handily silenced by a love heart, which is probably in the designer's best interests. Jackfruit Dress Completing this nutritious trio from the wackiest designer to come out of Spain since Gaudi is the jackfruit dress. To the untrained eye, it might look something like a Targaryen dragon's egg, but don't worry, it's only a wearable jackfruit. The fabric is odd and the shiny red leggings seem out of place, but the biggest head scratcher about this dress is its lack of armholes. I may not know everything about fashion, but you should be allowed to use your arms, right? Or are people just paying for their own straight jackets now? Knitted Intestines This piece of wholly impractical knitwear was cooked up by a student of Beckman's College of Design in Sweden for a Stockholm Fashion Week show. Like the jackfruit dress, the designer seems to think the use of arms isn't a standard requirement. Being from a student's show, this probably never made it to the store. But with the right label attached, you'd be looking at a stomach-churning figure. OTT Ball Gown If it's more constriction you're looking for, you've found it in this hooded silk ball gown that looks like a genetically modified rose. You'd pretty much be an ornamental at any social event, standing there like a giant pink silk wallflower, arms plastered to your side. <laughs> I'd like to see her give someone a high five in that thing. Normally, Valentino gowns come in at around $10,000, so unless you've got a great line of credit, that's probably going to be a solid no from your bank manager. Bubble Dress This infamous bubble dress is practically bursting with impracticality and it's been blowing up the fashion fail section of the internet for years. The designer of this dress was so proud of their creation that they've managed to remove any mention of their name in relation to the outfit. It stands alone in its madness with no price attached and no designer claiming responsibility. Still, I'm willing to bet that its internet fame would probably bring a very inflated price tag. Ted Head these Manuel Bellano teddy bear creations are either a work of genius or one of the freakiest things I've ever seen. They were designed for his fall 2010 show and just to ensure the ridicule would come rolling in, he wrote us a little poem to describe his creations. I remember a little bear, a little teddy bear in camel color, a cold gray winter morning in a trip to the Castros Gallegos. My mother dressed in wool and silk and pink 
was holding my hand and I wondered, why does everything has to be pink? In the grand tradition of some of the crazier designers we've seen, it seems Bolaño doesn't want you to know how much his clothes cost, unless you can make it to the Kuki KR store in Barcelona, which doesn't advertise its prices online. Bed dress. Forget looking like you just got out of bed. Here's an outfit that makes it look like you never left. Designers Victor and Rolf put this piece together for their spring-summer 2005 collection, Bedtime Story. And it's actually quite impressive that it even manages to hold together. The price of Victor and Rolf's clothing is pretty steep. Just one of their dresses can cost upwards of three grand. So there's no doubt that if you could even buy this comfy looking outfit, you'd lose a lot of sleep over the price. Zip It The zip was invented in New Jersey in 1913, but Gideon Sunbeck probably didn't envision his fastener being used like this. This neon blue and yellow creation is perfect for getting away from the world. Just zip yourself up and no one will see how you feel about this ridiculous piece of clothing. Likewise, if you literally want someone to zip it, then why not buy them this piece from Romaine Kremer's Fall Winter Collection, which debuted at Paris Fashion Week in 2010. The entire collection is full of bizarre futuristic menswear, and this one would require some serious abs to pull off. Kremer is another well-known designer who seems to not actually sell clothes, but his profile would certainly bump up the cost of this incomplete looking item. Balloon Head in a playful twist on the classic tinfoil hat, designer Juan Antonio Avalos created this weird headpiece, which I presume is useful for birthday clowns or something. The silver helmet with balloon attachments would probably terrify a bird that was attempting to attack your head and might even help to distract a security guard. But doing literally anything else while wearing this would be a serious social challenge. The helmet debuted at Avalos's show in Barcelona in 2010, but since then the designer has gone on to become a senior product designer at Nike, so who knows what it'll be worth in the future. Eyeball Dress If you lack the creative eye, then this massive eyeball dress from Elanio Fashion could be just what the optician ordered. Apparently, Elanio claims to make art pieces for everyday life as if everyday life requires you to have a single eyeball rather than a head. The Futuristic Design Collective also invites the beholder to take ownership of their products, which sounds like fashion speak for, we sell weird plastic backpacks for $395, which they do. Car Floor Mat While some designers take their inspiration from the human form, others look at their random possessions and make clothes out of them. Balenciaga's designer was obviously driven insane by their car, and so created this rubber skirt which appears to be made out of footwell mats. So if you want to be draped in rubber mats that you normally wipe your feet on, you can buy them from Balenciaga for $2,500 or you can buy some off Amazon and staple them together for 50 bucks. It's up to you. Slenderman. Have you ever wished that Slenderman was just a little more floral? Didn't think so. But apparently one art student did when they created this monster from the planet Fabulous. Fortunately, this outfit doesn't have eye holes, so the wearer will never know how ridiculous they look. The outfit was created by a student from the notoriously wacky Central St. Martin's University in London. So it doesn't have a price tag as such, but if it did, I guarantee it'd be terrifying. Squidward Just when I thought I'd seen it all, the fashion world is now stealing from Spongebob. Fashion collective Nanette's designer, Kazuaki Takashima, clearly had Squidward in mind when they created this wacky knitted balaclava in 2013. It sports a supersized woolen sea cucumber of a nose and some seaweed-like hair that makes me think... Maybe this is what Squidward's wife would look like? The fact that the model is dressed in a trash bag doesn't help the look. And the fact that a trash bag from Nanette would probably cost you around $200 doesn't help either. Thanos' shoes. Are you trying to collect all the infinity stones, but you've run out of space on your gauntlet? Fear not, because Gucci has you covered with these unintentionally Thanos-inspired shoes. They're called the Flash Trek Metallic Leather Hiker Sneaker with chain strap and are pretty much just trainers with a spangly belt tied around them. The prices for these marvelously awful creations start at around $1,300, which is sure to wipe out more than half of any normal person's shoes budget. Thanos' sweater. And have you ever wondered how the genocidal purple one stayed cozy on long winter nights? 
Gucci also stocked this wonderfully cozy looking jumper covered in all the infinity stones Thanos could ever have wanted. You might want to jump on this one while it's hot. It's currently on sale at an absolute steal of $2,440. A mere snip of the original asking price of $4,980. Pair these two together to impress down at your local Comic Con. Then go to the bathroom and cry quietly about your financial ruin. Square chested. Fashion house Maison Martin Margiela were clearly going for the edgy look when they designed this humorous folded shirt outfit that the model seems very happy to be wearing. Would you like some shirt with your starch, ma'am? Their 2011 show at Vogue Fashion Week was full of these not actually on the body clothes. Head designer Martin Margiela is famous for never speaking to the press, never appearing at his catwalk shows, and barely talking about fashion at all. So it's no wonder he decided that the best shape for a woman to walk about town in was a box-shaped shirt. High street prices by the hermit designer started around $1,000, so your new clothes can look just as flat as your bank balance. Balenciaga Crocs Rounding off this catwalk through the weird and ridiculous world of out couture and plain strange fashion is a very unlikely collaboration. In 2017, Balenciaga went into partnership with everyone's favorite terrible shoe, the Croc. High fashion and functionality meet in this offensively bright yellow rubber clog that looks like it was decorated by your nine-year-old sister after a family trip to Europe. They even decided to add a huge wedged heel into the design just in case you happen to actually be nine years old and want to look taller. These epically ridiculous foam rubber heels will cost you $800 on Netta Porter, so around $778 more than your average croc, which is $22. I'd say there was a smart choice to be made here, but honestly, if you're considering buying crocs, you need more help than I'm able to provide. So are there any clothes here you thought were actually kind of cool? And are any of them worth their ridiculous price tags? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.